Alright, so this is my review of the 30th anniversary of Tails figure. The box. The box is over here. And it's the 30th, 30th anniversary sticker. A new render of Sonic. Normal rack. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. I think it's colored differently. In the back. The back has a picture of Tails and his accessory, along as with his name, 12 points of articulation, and all the other characters, Shadow, Sonic, and Knuckles. The description says, Tails is an energetic fox and one of Sonic's closest friends. That's what it says. And it's that in every other language. And now... The figure itself. It has great articulation. It, ha it does have articulation on its tails. They are able to come off. Like that. And it's easier to stand. Tails up. Here are the tails. It's hard to stand tails up due to that, so I just set it on something. Or, yeah, that's all about the tails figure. It's exactly like the wave one, I'm pretty sure two, and three and four <laughs> sculpts. The tails sculpt might be the same as wave one. I don't think it's wave two, three, or four. And his accessory. The same as Wave 1. The speed shoes. It's exactly the same. That's all. His hands and his shoes are on a ball joint. Like his head. He doesn't have ankle joint. He doesn't have elbows joints. But that helps the sculpt. He's sized differently, so he's able to be uh, scaled with the other characters. Example, Supersonic. Another example, Class 4-inch Classic Sonic. He's shorter, but has more things to him. The accessory and his shoes have holes in them, so he's able to be used on the Green Hill playset. I'll be reviewing Super and Classic Sonic tomorrow, days each. Hi. Since they're ball joints, they are able to swap shoes and hands. And heads, for some reason. So, Here's Super Sonic with Tails' head, and Super Sonic and Tails oh. with Super Sonic's head. Oh. Cursed image, am I right? <laughs>